Bonjour, mes amis. It is moi, Mr. B. And today I have brought you somewhere very special indeed. And that is to see Sherry, for that is its name. This is the magnificent, the imposing, and also the forgotten Temple Sherry. And let's have a look over here, you see, because I do like doing this because it gives you an idea as to size. Isn't it big? I mean, for one of mine forgotten ones, this comes into the large category. And if you're keen of eye, you would have spotted there and there a window. Well, two windows. So inside there is a chamber and that is where I'll be ending the video. For this is Sherry's rear, her posterior. Where we need to start is on the other side at the front. And when I saw the front, my goodness, it was so welcome to me because I had four targets on my list today, an awful lot of driving and an awful lot of rice fields, which are unbelievably difficult to get through and deep sand, which is terrible on a heavy bike. And three of them complete blanks. It was when I came round the corner and saw Sherry, it all turned to gold. So, this really is my darling. Hold my hand, let's visit her together. And here we are at the front. And it's so exciting because this is an absolute corker of a temple. We're surrounded by these trees and there's this big mighty wall that goes round. But unfortunately, I may as well prep you. The central uh, tower has come down and there's a huge amount of debris. I'll have to walk very, very carefully through here. But as I walk, I will have one hand free to guide you. So come with me and let's get through this doorway. Honestly, I'm really excited about this one. So there's the countryside all beautifully parched and remarkably ancient. I mean, have a look, people. How can this not be exciting? Let's take a moment. Good golly, go, go. Right, up we go, because this is quite a large one. We're going to have to move at a decent pace. Now, look at these relief carvings here. What is very interesting, and it's, it's common amongst some, a couple of other temples I've filmed in this area, is how deep the carving is. Now, my th whole finger now is disappearing into there. It's well over a centimetre deep, and this continues all the way round. I don't normally see this at temples. Yes, of course, they have the same kind of carvings, but not as deep as that. And what's very interesting to me is to go that much deeper is much, much more labour intensive. So why would you do it? I don't know. But I know what you're looking at. Look at this. Yes, there's some buttressing that's put in, but it still sort of adds to the adventure, doesn't it? I mean, wow, I'm such a happy bunny. I've had three um, zeros today, but you've got to keep going in life. You see, if something doesn't quite work out for you, you just go, oh, well, that wasn't so good. And before you know it, you're going to get a jackpot. All right, we have to go under this one, excuse me. Here we are, you see? Now then, we're getting into the central courtyard. Golly, go, go, this is so, so wonderful. Ah, right, I'm gonna have to be jolly careful because these blocks are massive. Now, do you remember me saying a moment ago how the tower, the uh, Shikra, as they're correctly known, has fallen and it would have been up here, all the way up like this, you see? but it is now all down here. Now, these stones and blocks are massive. I would potentially get a tripod out and show you how big this stuff is, but I just can't because there's no way of actually positioning it. Now then, it's for us together to go through here. Right, this is definitely not the, oh gosh. Right, careful, be careful. Right, I don't want to be dropping microphones or mobile phones in amongst these cracks. There's rather a helpful little branch here. Look at this. It's like a banister. Look at that wibbly wobbly banister. Uh, right. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Now we need to clamber up here. 
hear that crunch you see when you're hearing that as i always say you know you're doing something right and my god it rarely feels better than it does today there's a butterfly flitting around and already we've met some people here there's a huge ants nest to my left so i'm just going to stick my foot in there briefly and what do we see look hello 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 lovely person i think that's a lady and there's another here look 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 and there's one up here which is a bit more defined so let me capture her as well look at this now and remember what i said about how deep these reliefs are i could squeeze my finger pretty much in these gaps you see my whole finger disappears in there which shows you it's an enormous amount of work to do that with soft metal and to do an entire temple just wow okay moving through now this is where it's going to get very precarious precar very difficult precarious that's what i was looking for right because some of these actually do wobble when you stand on them and you think because they're bigger mighty and strong they ain't going nowhere but sometimes they wobble and rather disconcertingly when you're high up i feel like a bit like a mountain goat ah right okay we're at the top now then over here we have something rather interesting so i'm going to clamber up onto top there so off mr wibbly wobbly piece of masonry and up here now this is just i, I always find it a bit of an honor bloody scary but a scary honor oh gosh i hate being up like this right because this doorway we can't get through we could get through that bit but the next bit is all blocked up but behind us we see what would have been the whole center the heart of it all and it's rather full of earth now this leads me to believe i wonder what's underneath there there was probably a tree well very likely a tree was here and then that has captured the earth and with its leaves falling and so on over centuries um then this natural sort of moss or peat how would you say has has built up but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? I wonder what's underneath all that. Hmm, could be something rather exciting. So, with one cautious step following another, it is time for me to take you to our piece de resistance, which is this chamber. I mean, come on. Can you imagine what it's like being me? I mean, it's been not the best of temple hunting days, but, when you get to stand in this very point and walk through this very doorway not knowing what's there you've got a good idea but if nothing else it's going to be cool it's going to be dank and it's going to smell ancient and it is such a delight and maybe this is what spurs me on wow i love spaces like this they are so stuck. It is like, well, it's, it is like being in a tomb, isn't it? I mean, I've been fortunate enough to be to, at the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Um, but I think this is, well, I know the two, and this is better, trust me. I'm going to clamber up here. Right, so we can get a long shot of this isn't that stupendous and here are these windows you see but there's another couple over there and that's where we're going to conclude this video Ooh, through there's even crunch inside but there's one last treat because you always when looking at something so mighty as this do look down now if anything describes what it is i'm talking about are the depths of the carvings it's this piece here which is on the floor you see now look my finger can easily disappear inside this thing easily and look how i can't get my finger through there i mean it is so deep and so intricate i've never seen this before and this here is just one tiny piece 
it surrounds the whole temple. I don't have the time to take you around and show you all of it, but it goes around the entire temple and not just on one layer, on three layers. It is staggering how much labor went into it. But this is my treat, my present for you. And as always, I ask you when we go on our little adventures to bring a bumper bag of imagination. Well, now's the time to open it. Because imagine a thousand years ago, Odd, when this was built and it's in its prime and people have come from far and wide and of course people would have lived here. They didn't dump them in the jungle. But look, you and I are staring out of an ancient window together right now. And what we don't see is the past. But with our bumper bag of imagination, we can because we do know things that are basic. One, there would have been families. Two, the houses would have been wooden, single story. There would have been cattle. There would have been farming. And it's all out there. All of it. There's the decayed bones of those animals and maybe some people, so on, and tools and everything else, and it's all under that soil. So, if you and I could go back in time and stare out this very window, just imagine what we would have seen. We would have seen a thriving community, a, a large village or a small town. There would have been loves and loss and heartaches. There could have been a wedding going on this very day, but back some centuries. And we would have seen people celebrating and just living. It would have been absolutely amazing. And if there is a life after this life, I really do want to come back to these places and see what it was like. A gentler, calmer, less confused, less involved time. But uh, I suppose all we can do is look on and wonder. So there you go, the Darling Temple with the Darling name, Sherry. And I suppose that makes it unbelievably appropriate that I should share a secret with you. Now, I don't want you telling anyone this, so it's just between you and I, okay? Right. Do you know what? Do you know what I do every time I leave a temple? Mwah. I kiss them. I honestly do. I give the temple a kiss. And there's a reason for this, you see. I owe them a debt of gratitude and my fondness and adjuration for these temples it just grows and grows and grows. Um, because as you may know, I was an addict and now my life is so much fuller. It has such wonderful colours, such wonderful adventures, and it's because of these temples and the ancients. It's just a wonderful, wonderful life. And it really does help me when you come along. So please, likes, comments and subscribes, I absolutely adore. And if at all possible, if you could drop a few coins into my Patreon account, which is patreon.com forward slash temples, then that would be absolutely wonderful. I mean, just enough for a, a can of gas for to go in the bike. It doesn't have to be much, but honestly, it would be greatly appreciated because this is quite an expensive hobby. So, as always, I will sign off by saying to you, I wish you absolutely nothing but the very best. Please take good care.